and uh, I don't know who's standing up in front. And Delma? Uh, Daimo? Daimo? Dial, Dialma? <laughs> um, if we can get Dialma yeah, to take a seat at one of the tables, if, you... if they're empty or not, then then it'll make a difference. I think you just click on sit down. And those, those plates are color-coded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the voter, and I want you to click. Hold on, let me reset the voter. I want you to click on the color of the plate that's in front of you. So go ahead and click up on the voting board the color plate that's in front of you. So you look down where you're sitting, you look at the plate that's in front of you, and, and then you click on the board. Oh, I don't think we're getting a lot of participation. This is a tough crowd. I see a couple of people sitting in front, three people sitting in front of a green plate, and yet I don't see any greens up there that are clicked. I see, Alexis, is it possible for you to sit down and click it? Well, I know you're trying to film and stuff, so never mind. Um, so if everybody looks around the audience, you know, from above, I think that we, I think we should have seen one, what, four cyans, two greens, three greens, four greens. Everybody sat in front of the red one. Okay, well, this activity is probably not going <laughs> to help us too much, but we will continue. Remember, you do not click your plate. You click up on the board in front of you. There's a great big board right above the sushi bar. And those colors match your plate. There we go. Now we're getting the blue. So it's important later on when we do some of these other activities. Uh, and eventually you want to use this for research, to collect research, especially in large groups, that you want to be able to see their numbers and, and get their response. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you see what the board can actually light up to. There we go, there's a yellow one. So let's try it again. I want to go faster this time. So when when it's ready, I want you to put pick the color that's in the middle of your table. Go. Pick the color that's in the middle of your table. We can actually tell who's not participating because it it says down there. It looks like Miss Place actually won. Still, Leonis, their vote came in before yours. So I hope you can start to see how this little simple device can help you collect uh, some data from your from your groups. Uh, whether you use color, we can replace these with with different different things. And, and let me show you, just so you can see how radical that can get. There it is if everybody voted. Now, this is an actual device that's in there. That's an actual numeric device that's generating these that we're going to be using today. And so if you go ahead and, and click the color that's to your right, Click the colors to your right, and you'll see that these add one to that number, and there's 99 already up there, so they start over. So it's actually a real numeric device up there. It actually will count, and it, it goes up to 9,999. So that's a little more than what we're seeing. Second month. Okay, we're just sorry it takes so much time. We'll Go on. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Love the board. Um, okay, so the eyes have amazing talents that we haven't even begun to tap into. Uh, Stanislas Dehane wrote a book on called Number Sense, which collected num uh, numerous studies of uh, abilities of animals to recognize quantities. Crows can count to 15, raccoons, monkeys, pigeons, porpoises, and most importantly, babies. Um, 
It was found babies at the age of three weeks old are capable of recognizing up to three objects or actions. This is the closest research that we've found to establish the veracity of what we're doing here in Second Life. Uh, let me do a little bit of defining before I go any further. Subitizing is a word we use reg uh, regularly that means being able to recognize a quantity instantly without counting. Humans have this ability to four randomized items, but can be trained to see more than 15 at a time. You can find that at brillkids.com and brillbabies.com. That's another site where they're training people to be able to see randomized items. So we're going to go right into a pretest. Let's see how good your eyes are in recognizing random quantities. So Cooper, you were going to work with... Okay. I'm about ready to serve you some sushi. Now, what I want you to do on this serving uh, is I want you first to look at the board. And when I say go, I want you to look down and tell me real quick which plate has four on it. Okay, so pick the color plate and enter it in on the big board up front. I hope that's clear. Again, I'm going to put some sushi on your plates. I want the color of the plate that has four to be touched on the big board up front. Are you ready? Okay, I got my little SQ out there. Why don't you serve up some sushi? Hey, look at your plates. Which one's got four on it? No counting. Style, you're supposed to push the button. You're not supposed to say anything. <laughs> Don't chat. Now, the good thing is we're not recording your, your votes. So if you voted wrong, don't feel bad. Okay. Excellent. And what we wanted you to do here is just to glance and look. Just real quick. It's a... Just look and, and see, okay? I think you continue a little bit before I do the next one. Okay. So random subitizing drops off radically after five objects, and there are many, um, many errors in deciphering, say, six to nine objects. So let's go ahead. That was an initial... Pretest, here's pretest okay. two. So, so we're back again. And this time, we're going to look down at your plates. Try not to count. But see how difficult it is. Are you, are you ready? Get my SQ to serve it out. Here we 